A manufacturer can produce 4,050 cell phones when X dollars are spent on labor and Y dollars are spent on capital. The equation that relates X and Y is 75X to the 3 fourths Y to the 1 fourth equals 4,050. We're asked to determine dy dx, then determine the value of dy dx at the point 81 comma 16. Because the equation is an implicit equation, to find dy dx, we must perform implicit differentiation, indicating the first step is to differentiate both sides with respect to x. When performing implicit differentiation, when we differentiate an x term with respect to x, we differentiate like we normally do. When differentiating a y term with respect to x, we apply the chain rule, which means you differentiate with respect to y first, then multiply by a factor of dy dx. And this is because we're applying the chain rule. Also notice on the left side we have a product of 75x to the 3 fourths and y to the 1 fourth. And therefore we also have to apply the product rule of differentiation. Applying the product rule on the left side, we have the first function of 75x to the 3 fourths times the derivative of y to the 1 fourth with respect to x, which again requires a chain rule because we're treating y as a function of x. So we first differentiate with respect to y, which gives us 1 fourth y to the power of 1 fourth minus 1, which is negative 3 fourths, and then times dy dx. Again, here we're applying the chain rule, which is why we have times dy dx. And then we have plus the second function of y to the 1 fourth times the derivative of 75x to the 3 fourths, which is 75 times 3 fourths times x to the power of 3 fourths minus 1, which is negative 1 fourth. And because we have an x term, we don't need to apply the chain rule, we do not include a factor of dy dx. Equals on the right side, the derivative of 4050 with respect to x is zero. For the next step, let's go ahead and simplify these products. Let's write this first product as 75x to the 3 fourths divided by four y to the power of positive 3 fourths times dy dx. Notice here, we moved x to the power of negative 3 fourths to the denominator, which made the exponent positive. And then we have plus 75 times three is 225. Let's write this product as 225 y to the 1 fourth divided by four x to the 1 fourth equals zero. And now to solve for dy dx, let's go ahead and subtract 25y to the 1 fourth divided by 4x to the 1 fourth on both sides. And now to solve for dy dx, we'll multiply both sides of the equation by the reciprocal of the fraction 75x to the 3 fourths divided by 4y to the 3 fourths. Which means we'll multiply both sides by 4y to the 3 fourths divided by 75 x to the 3 fourths. The left side simplifies to one dy dx. The product of the fractions is one because we're multiplying reciprocals. So again, we have dy dx equals the product on the right. Let's first simplify. 75 and 225 share a common factor of 75. There's 175 and 75 and three 75s and 225. And four divided by four simplifies to one. So this simplifies nicely. In the numerator we have negative three times y to the one fourth times y to the three fourths. One fourth plus three fourths is one. And therefore the numerator is simply negative three y. And the denominator is just x to the 1 fourth times x to the 3 fourths, which is x to the first, or just x. So now we know dy dx is equal to negative 3y divided by x. And now we can determine dy dx at the point 81 comma 16 by substituting 81 for x and 16 for y. This gives us negative three times 16 divided by 81, which is equal to negative 48 81st, but there's a common factor of three between 48 and 81. dy dx at the point 81 comma 16 
is equal to negative 16 27ths. I hope you found this helpful.